Well, here's an idea I had for increasing the um, water supply and also generating more electricity. But the um, it would be using seawater to fill uh, pipes that would be uh, going along uh, a system of con concave mirrors so as to use sunlight to boil the water in the pipes with. It would have to be, well, you'd want to also have a um, screen, or uh, not a screen, but what is it called? A cage of a type over the, over the, what would the, would it be called? It, over the concave mirror system so as to prevent birds from going in there and that would limit the sunlight in but you'd also well it would cost more to do that but it's better for animals not to have that kind of risk you know that's the kind of problem with using any type of solar power for generating electricity is making a hazard for animals so you it would be best to do that make a make a tunnel like cage you know, like half cylinder, basically, and that would change the size for that, so as to have enough surface area for sunlight to go in. And I mean, like, have a convex mirror system, so you know, it's a a U shape kind of thing, so as to not need to have motorized uh, mirrors, and you know that those need maintenance and whatnot. Just have it geometrically designed so as to so as to not need to move or anything. You would want to have little escape routes if anyone were to get trapped in there like idiots would probably break into the fence and all that stuff and be like, oh look I'm here for whatever reason and that's just dumb. But people do it. There's nothing that's not foolproof, so you know, gotta have some way out for them. And animals, of course, would do that too, not realizing it whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, still, you know, have it where. Let's see. The in, it would have to be below sea level for lowest tide so for the entry point. So, and you might want to have the pipe system tilted upward. Uh, so as to allow steam to flow and the pipe itself would probably be teardrop shaped sort of so as to have more surface area for boiling as well as keeping the water down and uh, having the steam funnel upward you know, you'd want to have a valve on the entry to allow for water to only go in probably cool off during night I'm not sure if you'd need pumps or if you could just have it where the water drops down enough that there's enough water pressure to force water in there just as a matter of physics rather than requiring any type of automation or machinery. But the steam then would be potable probably depending on if there are any chemicals otherwise which would be partially distilled but you know there's yeah that would need further filtration but you know, just removing the salt that is one thing. You probably would want small um, you know how those train cars are uh, to um, for putting grain in that they have funnels, but yeah, you'd you'd collect a lot of salt there, and you know that could be sold, and yeah, you'd want to have a filter at the entry point too to keep fish and other creatures out of, but um, yeah, it would basically be salt that you're collecting, and hopefully not fish or plankton, that would be sad. But, um, yeah, you could make it work, though, and have it where, what is it? Oh, yeah, the at the end you have a steam turbine, or well, pro probably just one. And that would be, you know, one for each pipe. I don't know. Yeah, if you had it in parallel, it would reduce the, well, I don't know, depend it's a quantitative thing there rather than just qualitative concepts then but yeah you know, each of those you know you have steam you're collecting solar energy and you're making potable water so you know something could be done like that 
and just put everywhere that you have a coast and whatnot, at least a few of them. And you know, that automatically increases the water supply that's drinkable and I don't know, something like that could work probably. So uh, pretty much all I had to say. I, anyway, take care everyone. Bye.